The Department of Sustainable Energy Engineering at IIT Kanpur was created in 2020. The vision of the department is to achieve excellence in education, research and innovation, technology development and outreach in different domains of energy sustainability. Through these endeavors, the department wishes to make meaningful contributions to national goals of net zero and decarbonization by 2070. So different activities of the department include academics, which means conducting academic programs that are rigorous, blended in coursework as well as thesis, and the current programs being master's and PhD programs. The department also offers minors for undergraduate students of IIT Kanpur of other departments. Second agenda, which is very important, for any department is the research and our research aim is to achieve excellence in conducting high quality and cutting edge research in current and future thematic areas of energy sustainability. These areas are highly interdisciplinary in nature. So as a result, our faculty members work on developing materials, processes, systems, combining both theory and experiments. Current highlights of our research are in the areas of solar energy, which includes photovoltaics and thermal energy, wind energy, green hydrogen, batteries and electric mobility, carbon capture, utilization and storage, renewable grid integration, built environment and energy policy. Our faculty members have shown development of high efficiency in stable perovskite solar cells, which is a third generation solar technology. They have also achieved success in developing highly efficient and high performance battery materials. Some of our students and faculty members have also worked on developing high performance solar thermal systems as well as smart and efficient microgrids. In today's world, research is highly collaborative. So to that effect, we have collaborated with several industries, several complementary industries in India, and also made collaborations with leading national and global universities to that effect. We also encourage our faculty members and students for translation of research into technologies and products that could be eventually commercialized. And finally, to make a social impact and be connected with the society, we conduct technology demonstration and social outreach programs time to time. We focus on advancement of next generation perovskite photovoltaics, an emerging technology known for its raw material abundance, cost-effective solution-based fabrication, and the potential for making uh, high-efficiency th thin-film solar cells. Our research spans the entire development pipeline, starting from material synthesis, development, and device fabrication to a detailed characterization and rigorous performance and stability assessments, all while prioritizing on use of green chemistry and sustainable materials. At the Solar Group here, we fabricate high-performance solar cells with photoconversion efficiencies exceeding 22%. At our solar PV lab, we also work on recycling and materials recovery from end-of-life silicon and perovskite photovoltaics using a combination of hydrometallurgical and thermomechanical processes. In this lab, we are looking at the sustainable energy engineering solution for green energy. So this lab focus is wind energy and hydro energy. So we are working on uh, primarily the vertical axis wind turbine. We look for new and innovative vertical axis wind turbine for different applications. So currently uh, we are looking for an applications where like in a highway when the cars are drive in both way, in the air in between can be used for generating the wind and the background what the turbine you are seeing is actually the one is the model and another is the prototype of such turbines. We also look for very innovative design where we try to improve the efficiency of these turbines. We are planning to apply this also on generating green hydrogen how wind can be used. Thermal Systems Laboratory aims to design and assess thermal energy systems. We use both experiment and computation for these developments. Several research activities are carried out in this laboratory. This includes development of solar thermal subsystems or integrated systems for heat transfer applications or process heating applications. As an example, we are developing a novel solar tower simulator which includes several subsystems to regenerate hydrogen by thermocatalytic ammonia cracking. The benefit of such a system is that it addresses a very important challenge or major challenge associated with the transportation of hydrogen 
at a very high pressure. Also, such systems benefit from high thermal efficiency and such system makes use of radiation-based heating. So such a system avoids several internal conversions or conversion from heat to electricity and electricity to heat. Such conversions are avoided. So direct utilization of heat is the focus of such subsystems. In addition, we do several other research. For instance, battery thermal management system, the impact of dust transport and deposition on subsystems for solar thermal technologies or solar thermal systems. The government of India has set an ambitious target of achieving 50% of its energy generation through non-fossil fuel sources by the year 2030. However, the issues of intermittency with these energy generation sources is a major limitation that can be addressed only by advancing energy storage technologies. Here, at the Energy Materials, Device Engineering and Characterization Group at IIT Kanpur, we are at the forefront of this mission trying to develop cutting-edge technologies that are focused on advancing energy storage, materials and components and understanding their interactions through advanced characterization methodologies. Equipped with state-of-the-art device fabrication, battery prototyping and testing equipment, our group aims to address critical challenges such as battery safety using solid-state chemistries, cost reduction and sustainability using recyclable and earth-abundant materials, and finally, the development of sodium-ion-based technologies that are alternatives to conventional lithium-ion-based batteries. Recently, we have established a multi-institute center on energy storage that is CREATE, Center for Rechargeable Energy Storage System for Augmenting Transportation and Electrification with support from ANRF, Department of Science and Technology, India. Current energy storage systems are reliant primarily on use of lithium ion batteries in India. The focus of this center is to develop battery chemistries that utilize earth abundant low cost elements such as sodium and aluminium. The center is interdisciplinary in nature, involving personnel from chemical engineering, material science engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, physics and chemistry departments. We as a group are looking at uh, developing materials and processes uh, related to carbon capture and utilization and other related chemical transformations which can convert waste to wealth utilizing renewable uh, electricity and renewable energy. So as we know, uh, global fossil-based CO2 emissions uh, uh, has led to this huge problem of uh, accumulation of CO2 into the atmosphere, leading to uh, climate change issues and global warming. That is one of the biggest problems of our uh, society today. So we as material scientists are looking into tackling this problem through design of materials and interfaces as well as developing chemical processes which can capture CO2 from various sources like it can be industrial fuel stream or from air and then convert them to useful fuels and chemicals to close uh, this artificial carbon loop and to make a closed cycle. Uh, we design materials, processes and small reactors uh, to catalyze these transformations. Hydrogen is going to be the key fuel for the future energy ecosystem. Uh, while hydrogen is very abundant, it's mostly logged up in water. Electrodes Lab at Sustainable Energy focuses on chemical energy systems where we use hydrogen as a key component. Our primary focus is on using electrolysis as a process to generate hydrogen out of water using clean energy sources like uh, solar PV and wind energy. Our uh, major focuses are on developing materials as well as devices uh, where we can improve the efficiency as well as the cost of these electrolysis systems. We use experimentation and modeling tools to achieve that. Uh, we also use similar methodology for other hydrogen-based energy systems such as direct ammonia generation as well as for fuel cells. Electrical energy has become third most essential in our daily life activities after air and water and this has made our 
great to be become more smarter through various new technologies like renewable energy and electric vehicles. The Sustainable Power Innovation Technology Lab in our department provides the opportunity for various activities in the smart grid domain through microgrid technologies. This lab will provide the hardware in loop testing of microgrid technologies where we can develop new control philosophies for energy management system of microgrids as well as provide the testing platform for those control architectures. Along with that, there will be opportunity for various design and development of powertronic interfaces to be used in the microgrid for testing as well as for development. Another opportunity is related to the EV charging infrastructure where we can develop and test various EV charging and discharging philosophies that will impact the power distribution power system operation. This provides the a new era of electric vehicle technologies back in the system where the planning of the distribution network is also important along with the charging infrastructure to be integrated with the distribution network. India has committed towards achieving carbon neutrality by 2070. Achieving this objective requires huge upfront investment in various decarbonization measures, including technology like CCUS, various fuel substitution options such as hydrogen, biochar, and green energy. However, the financial viability of these technology remains a major or critical challenge in their implementation, especially for industrial stakeholders. Considering this, we are planning to develop a techno-economic decarbonization model for Indian industries, especially iron and steel industry. And this will help in balancing the trade-off between cost and emission reduction potential of various decarbonization measures, which will help in providing the appropriate information to policymakers and other relevant stakeholders about fund allocation, budget allotment to across various sectors. Buildings in India consume about one-third of the nation's electricity, making them a significant contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. A significant portion of this electricity powers heating and cooling systems in buildings to ensure occupants' comfort. At the Building Energy Research Lab, we are working on solutions to reduce the heating and cooling energy consumption of buildings while still ensuring people's comfort. Some of the major research areas in our group are energy and cost efficient building design and construction, climate responsive building design, and technological and behavioral interventions for improving building energy efficiency.